Hey everyone, I'm 92T and I'm an Ultimate Iron Man. I've been gathering items to prepare for a big Colosseum grind and I'll need about 150k Sunfire Splinters to get the best Quiver available. So first things first, I have a quest I need to do before we start the Colosseum and we will see why in a couple of minutes. And here we are at the Perilous Moons, yes, this is the quest we need to do before we head for the Colosseum and the reason why is gonna be revealed at the end of the quest so we're gonna be skipping right ahead and because of the quest helper plugin this is all spacebar anyway so let's go right ahead and go to the end actually let's not go to the end because i gotta give my word of appreciation for this fine dungeon i think jagex did a wonderful job props to them and this should be the end of the quest it was obviously a tutorial for the perilous moons but I enjoyed it nonetheless, I think it was very well done. But 92, this still doesn't explain why you had to do this quest before the Colosseum. You are right, you are about to find out why, just as we use this statue. Or maybe not, I, okay, we have to open the rewards, we haven't done that yet. Maybe one KC spoon? No. Okay, let's try this again. So. I want to enter the Blue Moon boss fight and see, she took my Fung, right? And now I'm gonna log out. That's it. That's the strat. So as you can see, I just logged in and I do not have my Fung with me because it's safely stored in the Blue Moon boss fight. Uh, this is particularly great because this is essentially a stash unit for one item of my choosing. And that's not even the best part. The best part is that you can choose an untradeable item to do this. And aside from stash units, I don't think there's anything else that is able to store untradeable items without uh, the risk of you losing them on death. Because if I happen to die anywhere else, the, my fang will be completely safe and I can just go get it anytime I want. So yeah, this is why I was so insisting on doing this first, because I won't be taking my fang for the Colosseum, I'll be going with my blade, so let's head there now. So I'm here trying out a new exotic setup, uh, I'm bringing my Void Waker and this is to kill the melee Fremenic uh, with this special attack, I'm not bringing any mage gear, so I'll be relying only on the Void Waker to kill this uh, NPC. And uh, I'll be using Dead Charge to re recover my spec and only using Saradomin Godsword to heal, which might be a bit uh, cost uh, spec intensive, but we'll see how it is. Success. That was Zelda Clutch. I had no bruise, no restores, I had no supplies. I think I might have to change my gear a bit, but a KC is a KC, so for that I am happy. Okay, that's enough for one day, I think I unlearned what I knew about the Colosseum, I look like an idiot doing this, so I need to sleep on it and tomorrow it will be better for sure, so yeah, for today we are done. Brought Bandus and a Bulwark to help us survive a bit better. Okay, we can still do KC, very good. I was starting to get worried, I kept dying and dying and dying and dying and that was like messing a bit with my self-esteem. Not that it was super high to begin with. <clears throat> 7k splinters in the bag. Oh, uh, that sounds good. By the way, take it easy 92, we got this. Very good. Our fourth KC, yes, I took like a... Big coffee, with more coffee, with more milk, uh, 
Yes, we took forever for this run, but it was so worth it. 10k sprinters. Oh my god. Do I have a mental disorder or what? Jesus, there's no way I did that. I walk right into the laser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Opa! And unique! Our first one too! Nothing like a bit of pressure to spice up my day. Easy brothers, not even sweating. So a new PB, 5th KC and our first collection log of the video, our first Sunfire armor thingy that we can use for a stash unit. In terms of splinters it's pretty bad, just the standard AD from wave 1 and the splinters from the quiver, so 4k. So yeah, let's keep going. Ooh, two for the price of one. Okay, take it easy. Just play safe. Okay, now it's not playing safe. We are almost out of pre- One more hit. Yes! Easy. Volatile? Oh my god, I almost forgot about the Volatile. Whew. Okay, we managed to bring home two extra collection logs and our 6kc. Whew, 5k splinters too, so this was a pretty nice run. Very nice. We have two of three pieces of the armor and, and our first Echo Crystal. Let's add this armor to the POH, we already have the other piece of the armor on the stash unit in Varlamore. And now we have to give this Echo Crystal some use. So we're gonna stop our Colosseum for a little bit and I'll explain why in a minute. We are here with our friend Duradel and we're extending our gargoyles because we're gonna be going on another project and that is getting a black tourmaline core from the grotesque guardians and our goal is to make guardian boots and afterwards some echo boots with the echo crystal we have so we use this echo crystal efficiently. There is a stash unit where you can stash echo boots with charges which I find very useful for the future in case I need some recoils on the spot because there are no stash units for the Ring of Suffering and grinding Zenites every time I need to, them to use the Ring of Suffering is just uh, not my cup of tea anymore. So yes, we're gonna be grinding for this and we already have a task lined up so let's just head for Mauritania and get this item as fast as we can. And we are ready to rock some grotesque guardians. Because <laughs> it's a rock hammer. But yes, we have this setup for melee setup with range, blowpipe with blade. And I'm not so sure about the food and pots, but we'll find out soon enough. I have an SGS, which should be quite a lot of sustain, along with dead charge and trolls. Uh, all of this put together should be able to make some lengthy trips, even though I haven't done this boss in like forever. So let's get going. So let's get this started. 1kc, a million tasks done. And another one. Another one. How many tasks does this boss have exactly? And I have no idea which one this is. And another one. And we have hit 100 KC already, no uniques so far. Beautiful Grandmaster time, I had to go get the Siali for this. And with that, all the combat achievements are done, so I guess I have no more distractions. And 
that's the whole task done and now we need to go get another one from Duradel and that gives us the perfect opportunity to try out the new task storage system that allows you to store tasks without using any Sawyer points. This is pretty useful because now we can get two tasks and do them back to back which is less time changing my inventory. And hallelujah that's one. Now we just store this one and keep skipping for another one. Easy. There it is, thank you so much Mr. Duradel for yet another gargoyle task. With this one we have almost 500k seal logged ready to go, so let's go back to the Sawyer Tower. Oh, and the collection log, our first one, 234 cases in, we finally get our first unit, it's unfortunately not what we want, but it's a unique, nonetheless, a granite ring, I see how much this augs for, not a lot, apparently, so, yeah. Ah, another, okay, I'll take it. I haven't really discussed how overpowered the SGS feels here. I usually don't use this spec weapon at all, in fact I grind it just for the Colosseum, but in here it's actually a pretty nice QOL to have. I feel like if I get lucky with the super combat and ranging potions from the boss I could definitely stay here forever. I just need to one tick flick or manage my prayer a bit better and if I get lucky with my specs I should be completely fine. The bros also drops mushroom potatoes and plenty of prayer pots along the way, so very easy to sustain here. Nice! Very good! 407 KC, I'll never hear the end of it from my friends. I got spooned. Oh my god, let's get the hell out of here. And here we are at the stash unit we have mentioned before. Uh, Obsidian Cape and Bandus and the Dragon to Ended Sword are not exactly the most easy to get items, they are a bit miscellaneous. Uh, but yeah, now we just use the Black Tormoine Core to make some Guardian Boots. And now we just take our Echo Crystal and use it on the Guardian Boots to get the Echo Boots. These boots are actually very useful for things like Zora that before would require me to grind out a suffering and now I can just pick up these boots from the storage and use them right away. Nice. We are back at the Colosseum and no more detours hopefully. And honestly, we have uh, one fifth of the splinters already, which is not a lot, but if we have into consideration that we only have 7 KC, it's not too bad. Uh, we have missed quite a few KCs too, and uh, well, we gotta take the small wins when they come, so 7 KC is not great, but it's not bad either. But I am a man of sheer focus and will, and I will not spam wave 1, I do not care, it's just not my style. So let's pump our numbers a bit higher and let's get more KC. And even if this is not the most efficient way to do this, it's still who I am. Okay, the Void Waker! 1! Void Waker 2! Okay, one, 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 one poke. It's done very easy. Didn't even break a sweat. Another KC. 8 KC already. Very nice. And how many splinters? Oh, 9K splinters. I take that. I take that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Dodge it easy. Another very fairly clean KC. It's never clean because I don't, still don't have the combat achievement that you don't take damage from the boss. But I'm getting a lot better, guys. A lot better. And 4.5k splinters. Not bad. Okay, and the split dodge. Max it. Very easy. And the Void Waker. And Void Waker 1. Void Waker 2. And it's done. 
easiest finish in the book and a combat as I was not expecting. 10 KC, very nice. Dodge it. Dodge it. That's spear one, shield one. Shield 2, I dodge the laser, very easy, 1 HP, another KC, I even rhyme, very nice, let's see how many we get, 14 KC, we took a while on this KC, we were milking it pretty bad, 9 K splinters, awesome, very nice. Perfect parry. I'm glad I got the timing right for this, I was trying a lot. <laughs> Shield one. Okay, no solar flare, no anything, this one's in the bag. Void Waker. Void Waker two. You can't even hit me with the prayer attack, it's fine. 15 KC. Easy, 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 my new PB, 28 minutes, I mean... It's not great, but it's honest work. And 80 splinters along with 4k for the quiver. Not great, but whatever. I'm a bit in a tough spot here, but I'll tank it, whatever. Easy. I was at 10 doom stacks. If it was doom 2, I'd be done. <laughs> Give me my splinters now, thank you very much. Is that what I think it is? This is super rare, no? Okay, we finished the wave and I'm not taking any chances, much less with these invocations next. So I'm just gonna claim this one because this item is very rare. I have not a great understanding or where I could use it, but I think it deserves a space in my looting bag just for its sheer rarity. So another collection log, happy with that, and uh, I guess 500 splinters is not bad for a run we didn't get to the boss. Walk. Done, 80 KC, another one, fairly clean, almost didn't touch my bruise. And let's see how much this is, 6k splinters, or 5k, I think, yeah, 5k. Void Wicca! Dead. Does this have a lot of time? I don't even remember. It does. Okay, let's go get my splinters, and we have uh, 9k splinters, awesome. Oh, it's our missing piece! Okay, we take this and it's in the bag. We have our full set. Nice, let's claim this, I don't care. I'm not taking any chances. Full Sunfire armor. Uh, we have the top at the stash unit, but great. Seven out of eight, we're just missing the pet, which you probably never get, but yes! Play it safe. 25 for the KO, very nice. This is our 20 KC, 20th, I think, uh, KC. And we actually got a Nonix, which I didn't even know it was possible to get here. So yeah, props. And one more, dodge that, easy dodge the laser. Okay, another KC done. And this one is important because it had another piece of the Sunfire armor, and while we already have this piece, it's very important that we take this one with us, and we'll see why. So we're gonna put this one on the POH. We already have one of these, if you remember, but it's on the stash unit in Varlamore, so for convenience sake, I'm leaving this one here, so we have the full set, and uh, then we can withdraw it without problems because otherwise we wouldn't be able to take out the armor without taking the armor from the sta from the stash unit. We look absolutely ridiculous, but I guess that's the price you pay for being the best in slots in prayer. 
and uh, with this item and pretty much all that I've been getting I'm at 7 out of 8 at the Colosseum and that means that we are only missing the pet as you can see and I'm not really hopeful I'll get it in the next like 5 to 10 KC because I don't have many splinters left so if I get it I get it if I don't get it well I'm not really hoping for that so let's just continue. No way we got the perfect footwork, finally we have been trying to get this task for so long and we even got a new PB in the process, nice! Now just give me as many splinters as you can, 6k, that's fine, you so happy with this one, 24kc, we are so almost done. What the, is that the pet? Okay, perfect, perfect. And perfect. Spear one. Shield one. Spear one. Spear two. Spear two, so it's spear one, it's fine. Spear one. That's fine. Perfect parry, let's go. Spear 1 Spear 2 Shield 1 S Shield 1 Okay, that's a good dodge I don't remember Void Waker Fate was 2, dodge the... Do it's fine, I tank Oh my god. Oh my god. If I didn't kill him there, I probably would have lost. I actually took damage from this, what? Oh my god. Who cares? I'm... We have the pet. Who cares? 25kc. We got so spooned on this. Insane. We actually got a lot, very spooned on a lot of things. I'm actually insane that we have the wall complete at 25kc. To end things in style, I decided to do the showboating combat achievement on this last run. And that's the combat achievement where you have to emote on Solar Edit when he's 10 HP. And as you can tell, I am doing the emote. Dodge this, emote, emote, and dodge this, forward, emote. Very nice, very easy. Now please just die. Very good, combat task complete. And this was our final KC, 26 KC, and with that we have all our splinters we will ever need to bless our quiver. Now we're gonna be using these 150k splinters that took forever to grind, and we're gonna bless our Dizana Squiver. Yes, I won't get my splinters back, that's fine. And after that, we're gonna be using that same quiver on our max cape, and that will make a quiver max cape thingy. I don't know the name because it's so many names, so much saying, very confusing. But all you need to know is that it's the best in slot range cape in the game, and for UIM, this cape is also able to be stored in the POH as well as having two ammunition slots, which saves a lot of space, which is also great for UIM. And with that, we have reached the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.